In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can install Bandage using Conda. For those who don't know, Bandage is a tool that is used for visualizing the Nova assembly graphs. You can use Bandage to identify complete genomes, short sequences, repetitions, etc. So basically, you can use Bandage as a quality control tool for genome assemblies. If you want to read more about this tool, you can visit this page. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. In this tutorial, we are going to install Bandage using Conda. So we will use one of these commands. In order for you to follow this tutorial, I need to make sure you have an Aquanda installed on your PC. I have tutorials that show how to install an Aquanda, so check the description box and you'll find links to those tutorials. Now let's open our terminal. On the terminal, the first thing we will do is to add our Conda channel. We are going to add Bioconda, so we say Conda config add channels. And we are going to specify the name of the channel, in this case, Bioconda. So let's run this command. Okay, the channel has been added. Now we are going to create an environment and install bandage in it. So we say Conda create n. And we will specify the name of the environment. So we say bandage. And now we are also going to specify the name of the tool, which is bandage. This one here is the name of the environment. You can change it to any name you want. But this one is the name of the tool. We will have to leave it. So we maintain this one. So now let's run this command. So now let's type Y to confirm. So once we do that, Quanda will download all the necessary packages and configure them for us. Okay, bandage has been installed. So if you want to use bandage, then you need to activate the environment. So the environment is also called bandage. This is it. So this is the command that we use to activate the environment. And if you want to deactivate, you will use this command. So now let's test bandage. So if you want to test bandage, you have to activate the environment. And in case you have forgotten the environment name, you can say conda env lists. This will list the environment you have on your system. So this is the environment we created. So we are going to activate this environment. So we say Conda activates bandage. Now the environment has been activated. So we can call bandage. So we say bandage. The B is uppercase. So it's B A N D A G E. And then we will execute it. Okay, bandage has been opened. So this is how it is going to appear we can enlarge it okay now it's enlarged so we can see it here so the assembly graphs when we load will be displayed here at the moment we have not loaded any assembly graph and that is why this place is blank okay so to load an assembly graph you have to come to file again i repeat so to load an assembly graph you have to come to file and then click on load graph and then select the graph so Let's use an example data. I already have some assembly graphs prepared. So let's go to the download page to get those files. So this is the GitHub repo which has the assembly graphs. And by the way, I have tutorials that show how these assembly graphs were generated. So check the description box for those tutorials. Okay, so uh, those are in my genome assembly playlist. I also try to update this readme file and then place those links here. Okay, so let's use this one here, this file here, the first one here. So let's just click it. And then when we click it, we will have this coming up. So to download, you have to come to this side, the right side, and then click on this one here. So click on the download raw file. So click it. And then you'll be asked to save it. So I'll create a directory called assembly and then save that file in it. So I'll save it there. So let's go and then take a look at that file. Okay, so this is the file. Okay, so we are going to use that file. We are going to load it. And by the way, this file that was generated when I assembled the SARS CoV 2 genome. So the tutorial is available so check the description box for that tutorial so take notes of that now we are going to load 
this assembly block. So let's go back to bandage. So we are here. So when you want to load an assembly graph in bandage, you have to come to file and then click on load graph. So click it. And then you can search for the directory which has the file or the file. So mine is here. So this is the file. So I'll click it. And after clicking, I'll have some information here. Notes, edges, total length. So once we have this information, that means things are looking good. You can click on more info, but we will leave it. So if everything is okay, then you have to come to this side, the draw graph here, and then click it. So when you click it, then your graph will be displayed for you. So here's what we have. So here we have our context. We have a context here. We also have a context here. We also have some context here. Okay, so please take note that with the assembly graph, you can generate the same graph, okay, in different colors, different styles. So just come to click on draw graph and then a different images will be given to you or different um, plots will be generated. So uh, depending on what you want, you can go for the one that you think is okay or you you think it's um, good for you and then you can just save. So you can come to this side and then uh, add some labels. So you can add the name, length, depth, etc. You can also copy sequences if you have some context that of interest you can copy them and then blast and you can move notes these are the notes and we also have edges you can click you can move them about you, you just have to explore okay so the exploration that one it's up to you so just try and then do the exploration yourself and then I learned something this tutorial is an intro by the way and so just try your hands and then test with other data sets and then just explore and then learn so that's how it is so once you are done let's just remove this labels so once you are okay with your graph you are done you can also export the graph okay as an image so you have to come to file and you have to come to save current view that's save image current view or save image entire scene that one is up to you but at the moment i'll just use the save image current view so click it and then you save it by default it will be saved in where your assembly graph is located so you have to give a name to it at the moment the default extension the file type is png you can come to this side and then select a different one. So we have JPEG, we also have SVG. Now, if you want to do some manual editing, I will suggest you save it as an SVG. And then you can use tools like Inkscape to edit and then just add um, other details that you want. Okay, so let's save PNG. Let's go again. Let's save as SVG. Yeah, you can also save as JPEG. Okay, so once we select the SVG, you need to come back and then change the name. Okay, because we did not do that, it's asking us to replace. So we have to cancel and rather save. Use the extension SVG. Okay, that's how you have to do it. You can also change the name here and that is fine. You have to decide what you want to do. So now let's save it. So let's go to our folder, our directory. So this is the directory which has the assembly graph and we have the images there. So I can open it with Inkscape, the SVG, this one here. So I'll just open it. And I have it here. So here I can make changes to it. It depends on what you want at the end of the day. So once you have your graph saved as an SVG format, then you can use tools like Inkscape to edit, add labels, modify. That one is up to you. So this video is just introducing you to Bandit. Okay, so this is how we install and then use Bandage. Okay, so this tutorial has showed you how to install Bandage using Conda 
on a Linux system. And so it's up to you to continue um, learning and then looking at more tutorials to help you visualize your assembly genomes. So once you are done, then you have to close bandage and then also deactivate your environments. Okay, so once you are done, then it's important that you check this playlist. You'll find more tutorials on genome assembly, annotation, and visualization.